Hello Boris, there's your brake booster, your Italian brake booster, you can tell by the, the various fittings on here. Anyway, I've got a new, another air filter unit, another assembly, and it looks like this one's working. Uh, it's, a, it's a good used one, so we'll give it a test. Booster is fully activated. My vacuum hose came off. My, my test lead came off. Recycle the booster. Go back to zero, I mean to 21 inches. Booster's activated. Loss is right here. Got a little bit of vacuum loss through there. It's a lot less than what we had with your unit. And this is a problem everybody is going to face eventually with these brake boosters because this air filter assembly is not available and has not been available for many years which is really irritating because Mercedes reproduced these boosters and sold them for huge amounts of money and so that means they had to make these um, air filter housings but they didn't make uh, any extras to put into the uh, supply chain so that we could have some spare parts uh, which is uh, what I would call really really mean and evil the problem is there's two problems <clears throat> All right. This is a rubber sealing surface right here, and it has to seal against this ring right here in this diaphragm. So the relationship is that's how this goes together, and this has to seal, and it uses the one off of your booster from uh, Italy, and you can see that this is no longer a smooth surface. This is all lumpy because there's rust underneath there. In addition to this seal right here. Let's see, let me get another unit here. Okay. Inside, see, this is what it looks like inside uh, underneath the air filter. Underneath there is a disc and underneath this disc is another rubber sealing surface. And so this it has to seal when the booster is um, not being activated. It has to seal, keep uh, air from or vacuum from escaping. And then on this surface, when the booster is activated, 
this one has to seal against that diaphragm I just showed you and you can also see on this uh, unit how it's lumpy so that means it's not going to seal because it doesn't have, does not have a flat surface and people have tried to repair these things you can see with somebody here cut their own rubber gasket to put in here and um, it, it didn't work either the problem is this is a non-serviceable unit these things are riveted together at one time there was a repair kit where you have to grind all this out and then you could put in a new stem and a new two new ceiling surfaces but I have not seen those available for years and even when they were available they didn't work very well so getting back to your booster currently this is the best I can do to answer your question is perfectly safe the booster is fully functional what is happening is you have a slight vacuum leak here which you probably would not notice uh, uh, operating a, the, the, your six-cylinder Mercedes um, the only thing that you might notice it might affect the idle but that's um, that's not it's not enough of a vacuum leak to, to worry about in my opinion but <clears throat> I will uh, look for other people to render up an opinion and um, discuss it let's ch just do another test while we're here booster in terms of its function it will it's a booster that will uh, work the brakes just fine the hydraulic portion is just fine there's nothing wrong with the hydraulics we have a slight vacuum leak and at this point there's nothing I can do about it unless we get another unit preferably uh, well brand new would be nice but I don't think they've existed for years uh, so at this point that's as much as I can do but it's a fully functional booster <laughs> 